right, guys, so we're going to be proving several things today and hopefully waking some people up to the reality of the deception that you're living in. Um, how easy it is for them to pull the wool over your eyes uh, when you believe the authority and you buy into what they say, hook, line, and sinker, you miss what is right in front of your face. So today we're looking at supposedly a real photograph. Okay, this was not a computer generated image according to NASA. Um, this was a real photograph that was taken from the Apollo 17 mission. And I want you to notice where we're focused here. Okay, we're focused right off the Horn of Africa. Um, you can see this little swirly thing down here in the corner. And, you know, we've been talking about an oblate spheroid so much, I can't believe that I haven't done this yet, but I wanted to find out what the shape of the Earth actually was. Okay, so what the Earth actually looks like, and this is it. According to NASA, this is what the shape of the Earth is. Now, what I want you to notice about the geoid or the spheroid here is you can draw flat places around much of the surface. Look at this. Look at this flat edge right here. Um, and there are flat edges everywhere. Look at the flat edges. Okay, so what they're doing is they're giving you an excuse for why the Earth is flat. And they're doing it by saying that the Earth is a oblate spheroid. This is the picture of the Earth that they give us. This is the shape of the Earth. And people, I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, well, you don't see the big dent in the Earth because of the water. Okay. How does gravity work on an object that's shaped like this? And why would an object be shaped like this? You know, according to NASA, here's the thing that they say. They say the rotation of the Earth caused it to be deformed. And the rotation of the Earth caused it to flatten out at the poles. So now we have the poles flattened out. We have huge sections. Look at this, guys. It is a joke that people actually buy into this stuff. It is a complete joke. And like I said, more and more people are waking up, but... If the earth is shaped like this, the ocean floor is shaped like this. The water isn't going to fill in this gigantic hole that is in the earth. This is an unedited picture of the earth. Now, is this a Mandela effect or did we never go to the moon? Did we just prove we never went to the moon based on NASA's own data? Based on NASA's own dumb information to give to dumb people who believe everything that they say? where flat earth proponents are out here telling you, well, wait a minute, the earth is flat. The Bible says the earth is flat. All of the scripture of the ancient world says that the earth is flat. The earth is flat. It is observably flat. And you can't pull off a flat earth with something that looks like this. Okay, but you can pull it off with something that looks like this. Because... Like I said, if you look at all of these long edges, how, how long is that straight edge right there? You see the straight edge on the edge? How long is that? What would you say? At least five, probably three or four hundred, five hundred miles at least. Probably more than that. So if this doesn't match what NASA shows us, why do you believe this is what the Earth looks like? This is the only image we have of the entire planet Earth that has not been computer generated, according to NASA. And I believe this is a real photograph, but I believe it's a photograph of something. Um, it's not the photograph of the Earth. It's a photograph of an object with Africa on one side on a perfect sphere. And every picture of the Earth from NASA is a perfect sphere. Here's another one with Africa. Where is the shape that we see here? Again, how does gravity work on this? <laughs> how does this work? This is all ocean here. How is gravity holding water to the surface of this ball? Do you guys see how India goes flat here into this hole? Oh. Guys, wake up. 